yeah, because because you had said Wabbit that you hadn't played any Dawn Guard, so I don't know if it's full blown adventure or if it's about the size of a normal quest. Although that being said, we've played the normal quest on here, and if it is the size of a normal quest, it's going to take us four weeks anyway. So. <laughs> Yeah, it, either way, I wanted to at least give it its due, so. So with that being said, I decided I would move recording Samuel's thoughts to tomorrow. I'll record it on my own for once, not live. Plus, I have to admit, I'm probably going to be covering something controversial in that episode anyway. So someone randomly wandering in here, that, that would be a bit nerve-wracking as it was anyway. Like the regulars, like you, Wabbit, and stuff, I know you've heard me talk controversial crap on Samuel's Thoughts before and not even so much as blanked, but I don't know. It's one of those things to where if a troll was to walk in, <laughs> I'm not sure I'd be happy for a troll to be walking in. Um, okay, so. It is time. I don't have any eyelids. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. So, let's see here. Dawn Guard. There we are. So, yes, for those of you that are joining us special for this, we are going to, for Halloween, as a theme, play the Dawn Guard stuff inside of Skyrim. I've never played it before, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to go. Oh, neat. Nightingale Hall is actually close to the Dawn Guard people. Isn't that awesome? I wonder if they did that on purpose. <laughs> but, yeah, so we are going to play the Dawn Guard stuff, which is vampire-themed. So I figured it was appropriate for the month. Honestly, me being a cosplayer, I was kind of tempted to be cosplayed every single day of this month, but I don't have enough costumes in my roster yet for that, so that was one reason. And the second is that I come home from a game night at the library every night. Probably, though, in fact, not probably. I will say that the last week of this month, before Halloween starts, you will see me dressed up. So I will be dressed up for Halloween for one day this month. But not every day. So there's that. Despite one of my friends, as soon as she found out, went, oh, come on, you have to. It's like, you try running home, getting all this stuff together without putting an outfit on. <laughs> and mind you, that friend is a cosplayer of her own accord. So it was one of those preaching to the choir things. She's just not a streamer, so...
clairvoyance is being a bit glitchy with me tonight. Oh, wolves. Okay. <laughs> Some Stormcloak soldiers. Okay, yeah. Wow. This is an interesting place to make a... <laughs> make an anti-vampire league. Suppose the vampires can't find you if you hide like that. Okay, no, this is just a canyon. Gotcha. That was just a clever doorway into the DLC. Was it, always wondered how something like Skyrim would integrate DLC. Oh, hey there. You here to join the Dawn Guard too? Truth is, I, I'm a little nervous. I've never been anything like this before. I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Hey, uh, don't tell Isran I was afraid to meet him by myself. Not the best first impression for a new vampire hunter, <laughs> I guess. Save with me, buddy. You've probably killed lots of vampires, huh? I'm sure Isran will sign you right up. I'm not sure he'll take me. I hope so. Yeah, I've killed a few. That must be it. Fort Dawn Guard. Wow. Bigger than I expected. A little bit. Come along. Come up to Fort Dawn Guard in the middle of the night. <laughs> everybody. This place looks almost deserted. Decide if you've got what it takes. Go on, he's right inside. Thank you. Vigilance and I were finished with each other a long time ago. You know why I'm here. The 
vigilance are under attack everywhere. The vampires are much more dangerous than we believed. And now you want to come running to safety with the Dawn Guard, is that it? I remember Keeper Carset telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawn Guard is a crumbling ruin, not worth the expense and manpower to repair. Mm. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isra, Carset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance, everyone. You were right, we were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? Yes, well, I never wanted any of this to happen. I tried to warn all of you. I am sorry, you know. So who are you? What do you want? I'm here, I'm here looking to join the, take two. I'm here to join the Dawn Guard. You got a fire in your belly to kill vampires, eh? Good for you. But look around. There's really not much to join yet. I've only just started rebuilding the order. What can I do to help? I need someone out in the field taking the fight to the damn vampires while we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isran. He was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. Hmm. Here, you should take a crossbow. Good for taking out those fiends before they get close. Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. I'll meet you at dim hollow. It's the least I can do to avenge my fallen comrades. Tolan, I don't think that's a good idea. You vigilants were never trained for... I know what you think of us. You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stendar granted you do not have to face the same test and be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. You there, boy. Stop. What's your name? I, I'm, uh... My name is Agmir, sir. Do I look like a sir to you? I'm not a soldier. And you're not joining hmm. the army. Yes, sir. E Isra. Didn't I tell you to step forward? Hm. Farm boy, huh? What's your weapon? My weapon? I mostly just use my paw's axe when wolves are attacking the goats or something. My paw's axe? <laughs> Stand up, preserve us. Don't worry. I think we can make a dawn guard out of you. Here, take this crossbow. Let's see how you shoot. A uh, crossbow? I've never... A crossbow. Best thing for killing vampires. Just take a few shots at those crates over there. We're on the case! <laughs> mm. Also, nervous guy got in, too. So, fantastic for him. I'm sure that'll come up later. Also a friggin' crossbow. That I can that I can manage, I think. Mind you, I've never actually done too well at the whole ranged 
attack with a ranged weapon thing, if you've seen my bow and arrow work, but hey, what could possibly go wrong? Weapons. Favorite. Isran found something for you to do, eh? I thought he'd like you. Good luck. Okay. So far, I am luckily having places that are nearby teleport spots for me. Oh, I found another... It's, it's the worst time for me to point this out now that I'm in small view, but I found me another pencil cup for the rest of my sonic screwdrivers. This one's the more screen accurate one anyway because it's got all the classic ones in it, but still. Oh, shoot. I realized what I didn't do. One of the most important parts, my Diamond Club logo up here. I hadn't had it turned on yet. What is wrong with me? Yeah, in Doctor Who, at the beginning of Season 10, they actually had the Doctor sitting around as a professor. He was working at a profess as a professor in a college for some reason, just in case you don't want a spoiler. Um, but on his desk, he had things like a picture of River Song, a picture of his granddaughter Susan, um, and he had a pencil cup that had every single model of Sonic Screwdriver, or at least classic Sonic Screwdriver, sitting inside of it. So now it is legitimately screen accurate to display your Sonic Screwdriver collection in a pencil cup. So. These vampires are becoming a bit. So yeah, there's that. Makes me happy. <laughs> because I've been trying to come up with a good way to display them anyway in the background. And then suddenly this pencil cup thing happened. It was like, oh, well, that just solved all my problems quickly. Especially Mom being nice enough to find a Doctor Who pencil cup to where it was just that extra bit of... The other one's just a normal pencil cup, but it still works. But yeah, that's what these two cups of things are. Those are sonic screwdrivers. That's how many different times the sonic screwdriver has changed looks. Oh, mind you, one of those in there is the master's laser screwdriver, but that's beside the point. And one of them is River Song's sonic screwdriver, but now we're just now we're just getting pedantic. <laughs> Was the 63, was the 63 episode actually called the Daleks? Because that would be the first time the Daleks showed up. If that was the case, keep in mind you're talking to a Doctor Who podcaster that's currently going through the series from the beginning all the way through. So you're you're talking in my wheelhouse right now. If you really want to ask things like that. And what do you mean? What has vodka in it? I'm curious what you meant by that second part of that don't remember it was a long time ago okay there there were a couple of 63 episodes yeah i think both of those were in 63 point is there was like one or two time there's at least two time let me think dun, 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 dun. oh screwdriver right yeah you joke but actually a lot of bartenders have made sonic screwdriver drinks with different colorings depending on which screwdriver they were basing it on. I 
I can never try them due to my lack of drinking slash health reasons why I couldn't drink even if I wanted to, but still, they exist in the world if you look them up. <laughs> I've been told they taste good, but uh, again, I, I can neither confirm nor deny that from personal experience. How long have you been following me? Seriously. Keep an eye out for stone cold thighs. Yeah, if you make a drinking joke, unless they covered the drinking question on the modern rogue, I probably won't remember it. And even then, you got a 50-50 shot as to whether I've remembered the ingredients of a specific drink anyway. <laughs> are just an annoyance at this point, aren't they? It's like, oh, great. We had to deal with that again, did we? They're mainly there just to get lock joint now. <laughs>
I'm so curious. I, I wonder seriously if I were to go to this same spot without the Dawn Guard pa patch being in, if any of this would be here, or you know, it's I, I'm just stupid curiosity. Of course, you should never classify curiosity as stupid, but you get what I mean. Probably should have tried shooting at some of those crates in there too while I was at it. Instead of going into a crypt, equipping it, and then. <laughs> I haven't even equipped it. I should have at least equipped the dang thing. Yeah, I suspect that they've added the places specifically for it, but I'm curious what the landscape is before they patch it. If they added landscape to it, or if there was landscape there and they just added like doorways inside of it and stuff like that. Okay, that's a smack. These vigilants never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of a lesson of their hall. To come in here alone. A fool like all the rest of them. He fought well, though. Jedon and Kersoff were no match for him. Ha! Those two deserve what they got. Their arrogance have become insufferable. All oh, this talk is making me thirsty. Perhaps another vigilant will wander in soon. I wish Loki were hurried up. I have half a mind to return to the castle and tell Harkon what a fool he's entrusted this mission to. I have half a mind to tell Lokal of your disloyalty. You wouldn't dare. You shut up and keep on watch. Very nice. Vampires are playing politics too, then, huh? Last of my eyes, I don't even know where they are. Fan freaking tastic. <laughs> Okay, that felt good. Very nice. That felt good. Okay, I can see what they meant about killing vampires with these things now. It is a nice weapon. It feels good. I mean, it feels heavy. It's, it's difficult to explain this stuff whenever a person is watching versus having the controller in your hand and kind of feeling the response to it, but this feels good.
But you know, compared to the other vampires we've dealt with before, feels good, man. that potion of cure disease you wanted me to get my hands on I just got <laughs> Nice death hound collar. Yep, there we are. Don't sneak up on me like that, Lydia. Also, those vampires were undead, and Jazargo wanted me to test those things. I'll remember at some point. Necromancer, I'm guessing. No, it's a vampire.
remember that to use that when I get around these undeads. Get around all these undeads, you see. All of them are undead, so... is this? is this okay yeah I did and I don't know how Apparently a buggy scroll, yeah. Either that, either that, or because of all of the crap that the various ones do. Yeah, she is gonna kill me now, which means, yeah, you know, I'm going to have to reload this thing. <sighs> That's annoying. thing is I don't know if that was just it glitching out or if that's genuinely how she's going to react no I'm not gonna kill Lydia I told you at this point I'm going to see how long I can keep her alive these vigilants never know when to give up I thought we'd taught them enough of a lesson of their hall to come in here I've seen that before. It's happened to me. Okay, so yeah, you've you've had one where it's just been buggy and made your other person ticked at you. A fool like all the rest of them. Items, scrolls, favorite. You fought well, Jedi. Deserve what they got. Their arrogance had become insufferable. <sighs> that disease has the phrase vampiris at the end of it. Me to kill Lydia. That's what it is. 
I bet it's glitchy on purpose, though. Let's just load that up, and I won't use it. We'll do it in a area where I'm not going to set her on fire. <sighs> Normally, I would just let go of her wabbit, but honestly, because we are doing this thing where we're going through here, I do not want to take a side jag to get another companion. So, yeah, I would have let her die at this point, but... Did all my work for me in that case, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna Given what I know this next room is, and it's a bunch of undead. I'm right behind you. As you wish, my fame. There we go. Surely it'll take me about 30 minutes to get back to her. There we go. 30 minutes. 30 seconds. We heading out? As you command, my thane. Yeah. I know it's overkill for skeletons, but they're still undead, and that got the mission done. That's why I did it. <laughs> Plus, use one of those scrolls, and you keep the rest of it for something else.
that vampire just vanish? Time or bolt it time, maybe? No? Okay, whatever. I don't know how I feel about this crossbow, though, to be honest. I love my Dawnbreaker more. Still, the crossbow's quite nice. Oh shoot, okay, so I've already been seen. So that was a completely useless moment. <laughs> That's why they gave the crossbow, is because they do that. Ranged. <laughs> it does make one curious if they didn't do that on purpose as like a reference, right? I'll never tell you anything, vampire. My oath to Stendar is stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. I believe you, Vigilant. And I don't think you even know what you found here. Die! Oh, 
okay. Varieties of Daedra. Huh, would you look at that? Oh, this in no way is going to end well, is it? Are we really going to just press a button? A big, big, big threatening button. And you know what I do when I see a button like that? I press it. Yeah. And look, a spike just went through my hand. This business, this business right here, I don't, I don't like a bit of it. Yet I'm still doing it because I got to be curious, don't I? Yeah, I've got to be curious. whatever it was. Oh, great. Oh, well. Oh, dear. So they were looking for a lady. Uh, Barris, who sent you here? A man named Ezran. I don't know who that is. Is he like me? Are you a vampire? Yes. Why were you locked away like this? That's complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. Where do you need to go? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Any idea how to get out of here? 
Your guess is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. Tell me about your home. It's on an island near Solitude. Hopefully we can find a boat to take us there. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place. Oh, I'm going to ask her about the Elder found. Scroll. Don't think I'm going to just, just get past that one. Um, why wouldn't you be safe there? Let's just say that my mother and father had a bit of a falling out. Don't worry, I'm not in any danger or anything like that. It'll just be more unpleasant to run into my father. How long were you in there? Good question. Hard to say. I... I can't really tell. I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? That's actually a matter for debate. Oh, wonderful. A war of succession. Good to know the world didn't get boring while I was gone. Who are the contenders? The Empire supports SF, but there are many in Skyrim lore to, loyal to Ulfric. Empire? What... what Empire? Uh, the Empire from Cyrodiil? Cyrodiil is the seat of an Empire? I must have been gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. Why were you locked away? I'd rather not get into that with you. If that's all right. I'm sorry, it's not that... It's just that I don't know who I can trust yet. Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. Is that an Elder Scroll? Yes, it is. And it's mine. Why do you have an Elder Scroll? It's... complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. right behind you. Does the air feel heavy down here? I'm a little woozy, but it might just be from waking up. What now? Okay, so I guess it's letting me have two companions for this little trip. Yep. I do. I didn't know you could have more than one follower, but I guess for this, it's it's an allowance. Oh no. Yep, sure enough. I uh, had to see you coming, didn't I, big boy? As soon as I saw him in the distance, I kind of figured. By the way, I need to check something real quick. Reduces health by 25%. Progresses to vampirism. Shoot! I knew that that was going to be a problem. Hopefully I can get that cleared up, because that will be inconvenient. Wow, okay, so so she can go all necromancer on us? Good to know. Uh -huh. And he's just going to be following us like that the whole time. Okay, night eye. Oh, that's right. I have a potion of cure disease. You are correct, sir. Thank you for that. I would completely forgotten. Oh, but first, night eye.
here somewhere. Well, now you saw me pick it up too, right? The cure disease one. Uh, unless I'm forgetting what it was called. I even made a problem. I even made a huge deal about it. Yep, I bet it was on one of those bodies back there and I didn't pick it up. Oh well. Yeah, it's a potion of cure disease, but I didn't. Potion of night, ultimate. See, there's all my potions of something, and it's not there. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to giggle about that thrall following us the whole time. gonna have to keep my night eye equipped because it's just there's Lydia oh, okay. me neither That's right, I can just cancel it out. Woo! Press the button in time and it killed me. You have just witnessed me getting salty at I'll something, folks. Enjoy it. It doesn't happen often. To stand Stronger you know why I've gotten salty? Because we gotta do all this again. That's why I've gotten salty. <laughs> Good reason.
No, I don't have to use the scrolls again. That was way back there, so at least I don't have to do that again. No, this is her chamber. sent you here I was expecting someone like me at least a vampire yes that's but if you want to know the whole story help me get back to my family's home my family used to live on an by the way my name your guess is as good as mine this place looks pretty different it's on an island it's my family home. Not the most welcoming place. Let's just say that my... Don't worry, I'm not in any danger or anything like that. Good question. I... I, I feel like it was a long time. Oh, wonder. Who are the contenders? Empire? What? What? Cyrodiil? I must have been gone longer than I... Please, let's hurry. I need to get... I... I'm sorry, it's not that... Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we are. Yes, it is. And it's my... It's... complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. Get okay, now... through here without being a Khajiit on a side note with all these. So I suspect this whole thing is just going to be incredulously appropriate for Halloween with things like gargoyles cropping up and the like. Also, I wonder if I'm doing the right thing or not. She is a vampire, but still, this feels different, if that makes sense. She didn't try to rip my throat out immediately. That's... <laughs>
gonna be one of these save often dungeons, guys. So it's gonna be this going on. I hear a word of power somewhere. Drain Vitality. Coax both magical and mortal en energies from your hope hapless opponent. Breathe again. I haven't missed the sunlight, but I do miss fresh air. So yeah, there's even words of power in here that you don't know about, Wabbit, because that was in a cavern that shouldn't have been there unless you upgraded, so interesting. That shout's pretty much giving you the same thing, drag or pff, dragons. Dragon speak, yes, but same thing vampires do. Good to breathe again. Even in this weather, it's better than a cave. Oh, and she's hooded. So the sunlight shouldn't affect her. Good. Man, we are. We're off for a trip. Wolf Skull Cave would probably be our closest because that's a tiny road leading down. Yeah, okay, Wolf Skull Cave, and then we'll make our way from there.
You feel a strange thirst as the sun sets. Who's there? felt you. Oh, there you are. I got an extra special friend to help me with you until I take her to her house. Actually, yeah, before we go for that, I think we do need to pop down and get me healed up. Otherwise, I'm going to turn into a vampire. And sure, that would be cool. That would be inconvenient for the rest of the game because if I have heard about vampires properly in this game, there is the whole sunlight issue. There's all that crap to deal with. So, if you do not mind. <laughs> She'll just pop down and get some healing, and then we will carry on. Thank you for that. Hopefully. <laughs> I'll check once we get through. Okay, good.
That guy needs some dental work, doesn't he? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, really? Yeah, where did it come from? Good question. Hilaria wants to kill us. <laughs> Citizen, I'm warning you. Your presence is interfering with...
Okay. Those you can usually just go past without much problem. That's what it was. There's a root that makes noise. <laughs> so you can travel that way. Gotcha. the strangest suspicion I'm just wandering into the belly of the beast. There's some lights. In theory, people are still home. Hey, so, before we go in there... What is it? I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Now we show self Learn what the heck's going on. I watch the gate.
Is that truly you? I cannot believe my own eyes. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! I guess Apparently. I'm expected. I can't believe it! My long lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the my. first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, he I'm delighted to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? I'm Wiley's. Who are you? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter will have told you what we are. You're vampires. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. What happens now? You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach, and you will never fear death again. And if I refuse your gift? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! Now, make your choice. <sighs> you know which one I'm gonna pick, right? If I'd already done the main quest and everything, but yeah, that's just too inconvenient. I don't want to become a vampire. I refuse your gift. So be it. You are prey, like all I banish you. I suspect this isn't the last we've heard of all of them, though. It wouldn't be that easy. I could, but... Oh, okay, we're outside of the castle. Gotcha, so now we've got to... Oh, being a werewolf was a thing in the main game without the Dawnguard stuff? Or did you put the Dawnguard stuff in and a werewolf is part of this too and I don't know about it? That sentence totally was all jumbled, but I think it worked. <laughs> Yeah, that's how we got to the castle in the first place. Okay, werewolf. Being a werewolf is in the main game, so no wonder they went with the whole vampire thing then. 
Even though vampires are in the main game, too, but still. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's hidden. I'm, it, knowing my luck for your amusement, I'll stumble upon it. <laughs> Off to Fort Dawn Guard now. I've picked a side. Now we carry on with it. And I assume being a werewolf had its little inconveniences that you were like, ah, I don't like this sort of thing, right? Because just like how I've heard that with being a vampire, you do have to watch about things like sunlight and stuff like that, I suspect being a werewolf has its own lovely little problems. Because leave it to Bethesda to take something like a power fantasy like being a vampire or a werewolf and actually make it so inconvenient you don't want to do it. <laughs> Okay, quite literally beast mode instead of <laughs> instead of the metaphorical beast mode yeah. that we love going with. You must feed again today. Whoa, okay, vampires. <laughs> we pay for overly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Ugh, yeah, that's that's an inconvenience right there. Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news I for have me. news, but I wouldn't call it good. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. The vampires were looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? She wanted to go home, so I took took her to her castle. I'm waiting to hear what any of this means. They also have an Elder Scroll. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? There were too many of them and only one of me. So they have everything they wanted. And we're left with nothing. By the divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. So you're just gonna give up? When did I say that? We just need... We need help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here, but... There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them... Ooh, I gotta go find chance. the A-Team! Oh, <laughs> uh, where can I find these people we need? Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. 
Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination Ooh. with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. She'll help us? Might need a little convincing. But she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Any advice for a new vampire hunter? There's only one thing worth remembering. When it comes to vampires, if you're sloppy or careless, you're dead. And good people will die because of you. I've lasted this long because I don't take chances. I cover my tracks and I keep my eyes open. If you're smart, you'll do the same. What do you have against, against the Vigilance? Isn't that obvious? They're soft. The lot of them. Totally unprepared for any real threat. And yet I was the one ridiculed for trying to be ready for anything. Too extreme, they called me. Well, that doesn't seem to have worked out in their favor now, has it? Where'd the Dawn Guard come from? Vampires need to be dealt with. Hunted. Rooted out destroyed once there was a group dedicated to a similar cause they called themselves the dawn guard that was a long time ago but the idea was and is a good one that's why i'm bringing it back this latest attack proves it's the right time watch your back okay Sanctuary and just go down. Shame about Serena, she seemed nice. Like I said, in another world where I was just doing this after I had completed the main quest and everything, I might have vamped it up. Oh yeah, yeah. I bet, I bet I run into her again. They don't, they don't put characters like that in your direction without it being specifically, yeah. In fact, I have a suspicion this whole situation isn't going to be as black and white as. We're being led to believe it is to begin with.
you're curious why I'm looking up, I am seriously watching the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life go across my studio up here. I think that's a spider. It's either a spider or a beetle. So yeah, there you are. You're off in the distance. I heard that dragon just crying out. Oh, please tell me that this guy is actually tied in with the dragon. Like, we're gonna come up to him and he's gonna be fighting a dragon and everything. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I got a frostbite spot. Yeah. No, I know what it is. Shoot. Okay, I've got I've got re I've got regional complaining to tell you guys about while this thing is giving me its soul. So in the area of Kentucky Am I not getting a soul out of this? Really? Well, that's an annoying glitch. Anyway, in the region of Kentucky that I live in, probably most of Kentucky, actually, uh, we had a ladybug problem for the longest time. We've had one for about a couple of years. Little buggers just get stuck in everything. They're ridiculous. So, in all of the control and wisdom of the environmental boards, I suppose. I, d I don't know the name of the actual offices. Uh, but they released stink bugs to take care of the ladybugs because stink bugs happen to consume ladybugs. Now, we have a bunch... Yeah, the ki the, the what you call cute little ladybugs. Once you've got like, a huge amount of them like filling up your window and the corners of your house and everything like that. They're not cute anymore. <laughs> yeah, so stink bugs eat ladybugs. So the environment board decided it was wise to release a bunch of extra stink bugs in the area to take care of the ladybug problem. But guess what we've got now? I have never had so many stink bugs show up in random locations in my life. I prefer the annoyance of the ladybugs to the stink bug problem we have now. It's just... <sighs> At least the ladybugs were tiny to where they weren't in the way. You, you'll have a stink bug smack you in the face and it's like, get away from me. I don't know what eats stink bugs, but quite frankly, I do not want this cycle to continue. This, this business just needs to stop, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Because whatever eats stink bugs is probably going to be bigger and more annoying than stink bugs. And at this point, I just... No, I... <laughs> can't do it. Just can't do it. to 
much of because it's trying to take me to both of them, I suppose, because they're both locations, so... Ooh, exact opposite. Okay. So I do need to make my way up here. I'm following the right one, I think. Yeah, I literally have uh, one, two, three of them crawling on my ceiling right now. Probably got more if I look at them. Oh, yeah, there's just three of them right now. I don't know, actually. I don't know if it's a colloquial name of a stink bug or if they do actually stink. I haven't had any smelling problems with them, as it were, so. If they do, they haven't done it on me any. It's kind of like I never understood why a ladybug was called a ladybug in the first place. couple of smacks, yes, but still, they did a dang good job of making them threatening. annoying. I guess it's too steep a slope. He's probably going to have to go around there or something in order to get up there. I did. I kicked it. Yeah. tired of these wolves. They need to just leave me the heck alone.
Let's try for the other one first. Then maybe we can find out how to get to him easier. Plus we'll have that fort as a teleport point, so. I'm annoyed the game ripped us off on that dragon. But we got enough souls as it is. What would mud crabs want with my satchel anyway? You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I'd swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it hmm. followed me here. Well, just look around, will you? Isran asked me to find you. Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Vampires threaten all of Skyrim. We need your help. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? They have an Elder Scroll. I... well... That's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? I don't have any gyros on me. Well, then I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. Isran and I still need your help. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. Farewell. understand a single gyro would be enough i think 
I'm sorry, but I'm not about to do that with at least a single gyro to show for my efforts. Where would I even begin to look for a freaking mud crab? Got it. <laughs> yeah, I know, but she said the mud crabs stole those. So. This is useful stuff. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? We're meeting at Fort Dongard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Yeah, I figured it was around there somewhere, right? But it was it was one of those things where now where the heck would I I don't <laughs> It just so happened my guess was the correct one. <laughs> Lucky. Just most of the time when Skyrim asks you to find something, they literally put a neon sign on it instead of you having to go, now logically, where would a satchel be dragged to or something like that, so... focus now that there's just one target.
Okay, I'm gonna save before I try what I'm about to do. was a lucky find. Really? Well, be glad that I saved just now. <sighs> oh well. Restart it as. Nope, it wasn't you. <laughs> oh, if only, but no. Nah. Not sure where Don Guard is expecting me to find the other guy. <laughs>
I've had three of them tonight attack me. Thank you very much. And I didn't provoke a single one of them. Okay. This version of me doesn't know it personally, but in the back of my mind, it's itching like a no freaking Akatosh.
feels like some way there should be a way through this mountain. Again, this is this is a symptom of Skyrim having a crappy map. The 3D map wasn't smart. Never was smart. Now I'm confused because of it. That's literally all I can freaking do. <laughs> Again, this unprovoked stuff, I really question. where my clairvoyance is leading me going around. <sighs> That's right. Didn't have time for that business. seems like it seems like an Aesop's fable or something right a wolf and a spider walking down a path I'm... It's not...
Let's see, I'm following whatever my clairvoyance gives me because the map is completely useless to me. See, it feels like it. It really feels like I'm going the wrong dang direction. But for some reason, my clairvoyance is telling me, unless there's a path that goes through the area that I don't know about. Plus, I've made sure to look, and sure enough, there is no other thing selected. Okay, this business is ridiculous. How do I actually... Maybe if I go to like Hartwood Mill on the other side. Right. <laughs> Thank you. 
sheesh, one of these out of it. Yeah. I can swim across just to... Wasn't there something about the Riften guards being all superstitious about magic or something? Clearly, I can't rely on the map either. So, what are you suggesting I do? Because <laughs> look at this. This map. I. This is as far as I can zoom in. That's literally. It, it doesn't allow me to see any detail. All I see is a lumpy hill. That's all I see. Yes, I know go towards the arrow, but I went towards the arrow and I bumped into a large. I'll show you what I bumped into. I'm not getting mad at you, by the way. It's more along the lines of this it's frustrating and should have been done by now. <laughs> Did 
Just as long as you know us. <laughs> oh, let's see here. I'm just more annoyed at the idea that it had to be when we're doing something special like this, is that's when it decides to be all glitchy on me and not actually. I think that's a path. I think. I think it comes in from the valley down here, possibly. Because he's not inside of Mist Watch. And yet. See, here's the problem. He is here. I am staring at a wall of stone right there. That's what makes it difficult. <laughs> I tried to go around the keep back there. This is it.
It's expecting me to be at the top of this, I suspect. Yeah. The path probably will get me up there. It, fe it feels like it shouldn't because the waypoint is all the way over there, right? It... It's... Every bit of logic inside of your head tells you, no, that's wrong, right? So it's... That's what makes it frustrating. Because now at this point, I am going away from the waypoint. I am actually facing away from it and going away. Yeah, I know. Welcome to Skyrim. <laughs> it's... Ugh. It's frustrating as crap. I think that's a path up. Might be. Let's see. Oh, well, he's not in a not-subtle spot at all, now is he? <laughs> Mind yourself. There's a vicious bear on the loose. You there! Hold fast! I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Isran Is needs your help. Ethron needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He is surely so. Man, this safe. man burned bridges last time. Huh? Up with. We're up against vampires. Vampires? That well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. We're not sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. By the Eight. All right, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. gotta do we've been killing bears all dang day I don't suggest we stop now <laughs> Friend. 
don't know how well I'd have managed by myself and without my friends. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes, he said to meet him at Fort Dawnguard. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. And with that... I will park us at Dawn Guard, and then we need to wrap up for the night. There we are. Now that we've got that taken care of. It is time for the video on demand to wrap this up. If you guys want to follow all of the other Let's Plays, go to tscn.tv slash play. And remember, all month we are going to be doing the Dawn Guard for Skyrim as a sort of Halloween-y theme for this. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. Um... Hopefully more fun than hunting down this guy just was. Ah, I'll admit that may be the most frustrating experience in an Elder Scrolls game I've ever had in my life. But, you know, it happens. Welcome to, as Wabbit said, welcome to Skyrim. But, anyway, if you find, want to find all their Let's Plays, go to tscn.tv slash play. Want to get a hold of me more personally, about.me slash labtech7 for all the ways to find that out. Um, and if you like what we're doing around here, consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash tscn. So until next time, play on and see you guys. Okay.